Welcome back Hartsville High School, I'm Bonnie. And I'm Chandler. Welcome to RFTV. Here's some important information about things happening at HHS and School News. This week is Proud to be an American Week in Darlington County Schools. The word of the week is proud and we hope to shine light on the pride we have as citizens of our nation. As many of you know, Saturday is the 20th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. This week, declared Proud to be an American Week by Dr. Tim Newman allows Darlington County Schools the chance to strengthen appreciation of and dedication to the values that constitute the pillars of the American character. These values include being proud of who you are, being respectful, being trustworthy, fair, and good citizens. We ask that you join us on Friday in wearing patriotic colors to school to show off our pride of our great nation. In school news, school pictures will be taken Monday, September 13th, throughout the school day. Please listen closely to announcements for when you should report to have your picture taken. Pre-ACT testing for 10th and 11th grades will take place next Tuesday, September 14th. Students will report their advisory Tuesday morning. Seniors may be taking ASVAB or completing job shadowing. Hartsville has added another football game to this schedule, playing at home this Friday night against Gilbert High School. The theme for the game is patriotic. We hope you join us in the spirit section to cheer on the HHS Red Foxes. It was certainly an exciting game last Friday night against the Camden Bulldogs. Here's Hardy with an update on that game and other fall sports. Hey Red Foxes, I'm Hardy. For sports this week, the varsity volleyball and tennis team travel to face Myrtle Beach today. Best of luck to both teams. All ladies interested in playing basketball this upcoming season are asked to meet today in the athletic classroom at 345. If you cannot make it but are still interested, you can email Coach Johnson at the email above. Last Friday, the football team lost a tough game against Camden 43-37. They look to bounce back as they face Gilbert at home on Friday. Here's some footage from Friday's game. Finally, the girls' varsity cross-country team will participate in the West Florence Invitational this Saturday. That's all I have for you today in sports. Back to Bonnie and Chandler. Thanks, Hardy. We are ready to show up in our red, white, and blue for this Friday's game against Gilbert. Speaking of patriotism, the VFW is offering a $30,000 scholarship for patriotic seniors through the Voice of Democracy Scholarship Competition. You can find more information about this through the link on the daily announcements. Seniors are encouraged to apply for as many scholarship opportunities as possible and be sure to stay up to date with the school counseling news through your Schoology groups. Don't forget you can purchase new IDs from Ms. McDonald in room 109 each morning. Students who do not wear their IDs can be assigned Sunrise School. We ask that you do your part in helping us keep our campus a safe place. It's also important you pay your school fees. Because registration was online this year, your school fees can be paid online through the Darlington County website. You can find this through the Students and Parents section on the district website. School is very different this year from registration to how actual school year looks because of COVID protocols. Here's a COVID update from Daniel with our school nurse, Miss Alexander. Hey, I'm Daniel. Today we will be talking to the school nurse on updates about COVID. Hey, Miss Alexander. What are some things students at HHS can do to prevent COVID? So some of the things that students at HHS can do, um, one thing is to maintain social distancing between others. You want to stay at least six feet away. Um, still recommend wearing a mask um, if you cough, sneeze, keeping your hand over your mouth, washing your hands, avoiding large crowds. Um, those are just some of the things that you can do um, and keeping hand sanitizer readily available as well if any contact is made with surfaces and things like that. What do students need to do if they test positive for COVID? So if a student tests positive for COVID, it's important that they notify the nurse immediately. Um, that way we can get you coded properly with attendance. Um, we can give you your isolation dates. We can let you know when it's safe for you to return back to school. It also gives us time to be able to identify any close contacts. And those will be students that have been around you for 15 minutes or longer within three feet. So it's, it's really important that we know that you're positive. Um, during the time of being positive, it's important that you isolate for the amount of time that we tell you because if you're not isolating and you're still hanging out with your friends and stuff and going out on the weekend, you're exposing other people. So, you know, it's, it's really important that you do isolate like we say for you to do. Thank you, Ms. Alexander. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Daniel. Remember to social distance, wash your hands, and follow the school's protocols for keeping us all healthy and safe. 
IB adjunct applications are now open. Students in 9th through 11th grade are welcome to apply to take several courses. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Alvarez or any IB teacher. There are so many amazing course options available that can be chosen based on your interests. And don't forget to take a moment this week to think about what it is that makes you proud to be an American. We hope you will join us in wearing patriotic colors to school tomorrow to celebrate our nation. That's all we have for you today, Red Foxes. Stay classy, Hearts Fly.